Hey guys, so tomorrow I'm leaving for Taiwan, so I gotta start packing. Uh, right now I just finished the laundry, so I'm just hanging my clothes up to dry. And uh, hopefully it'll be dry by tomorrow morning so I can pack it. Yeah, so I got all this, I got all this stuff I gotta pack. Clothes, I still have to fold all my clothes. So, uh, yeah. Also, I gotta give that bag away, cause I have too many bags. So I have to give it to someone. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to do. So, I'll probably be packing the whole day. Well, uh, I almost missed the train. I literally got on like the moment it was leaving. And uh, yeah, now we're headed off to Shanghai. I got the time of the flight wrong. It's actually at 12.15, not 2.15. And I'm at Terminal 2, and I have to go to Terminal 1. So I have to take a subway. Oh, goddamn, I don't know where I am. I have like an hour to get to my flight. <laughs> I am lost. Uh, I just wouldn't have happened if I just read the time of the flight right, you know? That's the right place. Terminal 1. Like if you're, if you take an IB, it's kind of like IB commentaries where they kind of listen to music and then they'll uh, analyze it. Like they go along to the choice that the artists make, like why they pick like a certain snare, why they you know use a certain bass line or uh, different chord progressions. But yeah, I'll see you in Taiwan. Here we are, back in Taiwan. And technically, as a United States representative for the World University Games, I'll have to explain that in a second. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm here in Taipei for the World University Games, and also because my grandma and grandpa happen to live in Taipei, I can visit them too. I'm actually at their apartment right now. The World University Games, I think also known as Universiad or something, like a combination of University and Olympiad. It's the world's largest multi-sport event, I think, other than the Olympics. I'm reading this off Wikipedia, so I have no idea. But based on Wikipedia, which is obviously a trusted source, it's the world's second largest multi-sport event. I'm really excited, but at the same time, I'm actually kind of feeling a little apprehensive because I kind of feel like I almost don't belong here because I don't feel that good. I don't feel like I'm that good at my sport. I mean, just like look at all the other people in other sports. There's so many like amazing athletes. Like even from my own school, University of Maryland, the University of Maryland women's team is representing USA for women's basketball. And it's like, a lot of the other athletes from Maryland um, have medaled and stuff. And like, dang, I feel like I'm not at that level. All at the same time, once I get onto the table, I really forget about all of that and just start just feeling like I can win everything. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm like, double standards. Uh, but you know, whatever. I'm just going to try to, I don't know, just enjoy it, you know, try to win a match. Maybe if I win one match, try to win two matches, I don't know, we'll see. I'm really just excited to just compete, and, um, you know, recently my back's been hurting, uh, so I haven't really been able to practice as much. Hopefully, it will feel good by the time the tournament starts, maybe a day or so before, because the table then starts on the 22nd. So if my back starts feeling a little bit better, I can actually start, like, training and try to get my level back up. But really, the main thing is I'm going to try to enjoy this experience, and I'm definitely going to be trying to win. I don't want to go in there thinking like, hey, I want to enjoy this experience and it's okay if I win or lose. Like, no, I actually really want to win. So every match I go out there, I'm going to try to just, I'm going to try to win. doesn't matter how good the opponent is, how bad the opponent is. I'm just going to go out there, play my best. Let's just say I'm really excited to compete. Even if I feel like maybe I don't like belong with the level of athletes there. But, you know, I guess we'll see because I haven't really seen them yet. So... So like no point in like really getting myself down, I guess. About the plane flight, the plane flight was actually pretty nice. Okay, scratch that, it wasn't nice. I slept through the whole thing, but <laughs> my luggage was 
obviously too heavy. I don't know, somehow I got more stuff than I came with. Oh, because I also brought stuff after nationals and didn't go back home. So I have like extra stuff now. So I had to pack it onto the luggage and it was really heavy considering my back is hurting. Or it's not that bad now, but it's, it's still hurting. It was really bad. <laughs> Going down the stairs to the subway because the escalator does not go down. It only goes up. I don't know why. So I took the stairs and it was really heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat something. I'm gonna go eat with my grandpa. Um, I'm gonna go to Ruth's Chris, get some steak. I haven't had a good steak in a while because China, where I was at least, didn't really have any good steaks. So, really looking forward to that too. Because I'm also really hungry. Because I've only eaten one sandwich today and it's already dinner time. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Crispy cream is still good. Don't feel a little soggy though, you can tell. Because um Taiwan is just too humid. There's like no way to keep this donut crisp. But still pretty good. Hey, so I just arrived in my room in the athletes village. Uh, I think I'm the only one here right now. So uh, let me show you around. Okay, so as you walk in, there's like this big main room. Uh, you can see their backpacks there. These are basically backpacks that we get. These are basically backpacks that they give us that has like all our uniform and clothes in there. I'll go through the backpack later to show you. Um, there is a bathroom right here. Um, that's actually, I just checked it out, it's like a kitchen. Basically it's like a kitchen and then over there is like the balcony. And then let me show you here. Here, um, this room has people, lights are on, but uh, no one's in it. I checked because I went on the balcony and the, their windows open. This room is also occupied. It has, I think, tennis players, based on a little name tag on the backpack. And then I think this should be our room. It's basically me, uh, Tom Fung, and Jason Plog. So I picked the bed in the end because um, being at the end means that people aren't gonna be like walking by. And also I get the little space in the foot of the bed to put stuff there. And the window, window's also nice. And um, this is the bathroom for our room. So we have our own bathroom, I guess. And uh, it's pretty basic. You know, just shower, you know, toilet, sink. Oh, yeah, this is really cool, because this dorm or this building is actually gonna be used for low-income housing after the whole uh, competition is over. It's really cool, uh, there's a really nice view. This room faces the outside. <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. God, of course when this space out. This room faces like a park. There's like a baseball field, like a little park down there. But let me just show you. So this view is pretty sweet. See, so there's like a baseball field over there. There's like a park over there. I think there's some people practicing stuff. I don't know what that is, but they're doing kicks and stuff. So maybe like Taekwondo. I don't know. Check that out. Pretty sweet. <laughs> And just like a bunch of little kids over there. And then, hey, they're blowing bubbles. And then over here, it's like people who are training. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna go check out the dining hall. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog or shoot a video there just cause it's embarrassing. Yeah. But whatever. Cool thing, there's Wi-Fi in the whole village, so it's pretty cool. It's funny cause I come here and then I feel like the people from the U.S. are all really cautious. They're like, oh, the meat, you're not supposed to eat the meat because there might be steroids in the meat. Like, they're afraid of the water. Like, you know, maybe don't even use the water to brush your teeth. You should use bottled water. And I was in China for so long, and I'm pretty sure that water is worse. So, I, I'm just going to use the tap water to brush my teeth and everything. You know, whatever. I've been doing it for, like, two months, so I don't see why I should stop now. Okay, real sweet. So I dis so the room was pretty dark and I couldn't see this little thing on the top, which is Chinese. So I thought this was the light switch. Or it didn't look like a light switch, but I wasn't sure, so I pressed it and then the alarm started sounding. Uh the real light switch is right there. 
So, yeah, whoops. Hopefully, um, the police aren't going to come and tackle me or something. <laughs> whoops. Okay, so here we are. We got my Team USA bag made by Peak. It's like a Chinese brand, I think. I'm not actually sure. Uh, this is my name card. And let's see what's inside, eh? Doing everything one handed is tough, but whatever. Oh, it's nice, okay. So, never mind. That, I put that in just a second ago. So, we got a towel. Nice. What the heck is this? What is this? Acer? It's like. Oh, sweet! It's a watch! Oh, check that out! I can wear two watches. Oh man, check that out. That looks pretty dang sweet, dude. It's really light though. That's interesting. Does it have batteries? I don't think it turns on. I think you probably have to charge it. A little button on the side. I don't know what this one's for. Um, We'll get back to this watch once I get it charged up or something. We'll get back to the watch, you know, explain to you all the ins and outs of it because right now I have no idea what it does. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. We got, these are pants, nice. So it's like a, like a tracksuit uniform. This is, what is this? It's a t-shirt, we'll open those later. And um, this is a polo, nice. Okay, we'll open those later too. What else, what else is in here? We got, Earbuds, real nice. I could actually use those because my headphones are not convenient for walking around or just like casual use. So that's actually really nice. What else we got? We also have what is this? Like a t-shirt? It is indeed a t-shirt. Nice. Oh, check it out. It's a hat. Let's see if there's anything in the front pocket. Nah. Doesn't seem to be anything in the front pocket, so that's it. Check it out, this Team USA jacket is really sweet. I really like the colors that uh, USA has. I'm mean, sure it's just like, what, red, blue, and white, but I think it just it goes together really well. And I think Pete did a really good job designing this. You know, like a little hood. And then also, I think these are little, little metal inglets. Anglets? Inglets, I think. They look really nice, you know, just really sweet. I think just the whole thing is really cool. Just nicely designed. And to, like the short sleeve hoodie, that's real nice because in the summer I still got these pockets that like a jacket gives me, but I don't have to roll my sleeves up because they're short sleeve. And I think this is really cool. I'm probably gonna wear this a lot. And I think that's it for this vlog. Tomorrow's the opening ceremony, so yeah. I'll see you then.